The fiber to the home deployments in Europe are really starting to take off in recent years, and we expect that growth to continue this year. So as we look at FTTH in Europe, we're looking to see what customers are going to be doing, what additional growth and rollouts this year, and also what new technologies and solutions are out there to help our customers deploy their networks faster at a lower total cost. So what we're looking at this year is looking at what's happening when service providers roll out fiber to the home networks. They're also looking at how they can use that network most effectively to support business services as well as the upcoming explosion of 5G demand to support the Internet of Things. So as service providers are looking at deploying those networks, they need to take into account the outside plant physical architecture and how this can support that future need. But also they need to look at the infrastructure equipment they're putting in place, the access points, the splitter locations, and all of that to make sure they have that flexibility to meet those future needs without having to redeploy additional fiber. They also need to look at their central office and how they deploy their equipment there to make sure they can support that long-term flexibility and changing needs of that physical network to support both fiber to the home today, but also business services and the 5G deployments that will come in the future. If you look at what's going to happen as we start seeing 5G and the Internet of Things, you're going to have millions and millions of more connected devices out there and far more bandwidth being needed for those people who are on the Internet. So that bandwidth is going to continue to explode, which means more uh, access points. Those access points need fiber to be able to provide that bandwidth to consumers.